Looking for a hassle-free, safe way to carry your baby? We've got the solution today. So let's go. Let's get on with the show. Hello, Talk Funders. Today, we're joined by Cecilia and Alex from Mia Millie. Hello there, my friends. How are Hi, you this morning? Hi. <laughs> Great honor to be here. Okay. Well, I see you've already got the posters in behind um, of, of, your, of your fantastic product, which is bringing great value and support uh, to, to moms and dads. Um, so let's just go straight into looking at the product. Um, I'll just take you straight on to the Kickstarter page here. Um, so this is the Hipster Air inflatable travel baby carrier um can we maybe just do a little bit of introduction there cecilia regarding what the hipster air inflatable travel baby carrier is all about please absolutely so um as we are parents of three kids and we realize when you travel with kids it's just a lot of stress and there's so much baby gear to bring with us so i really wanted to create something that was very compact that could fit in my purse so this is what the hipster air is all about. Um, we um, turned a carrier into the size of a makeup bag that you can easily put inside your purse. And the goal is to help parents from all over the world to travel light and to really not have, you know, just focus on their baby without thinking about, oh, did I forget about this bag? And, you know, just to be able to be able to travel light, yes. And it really is. I mean, I encourage everybody uh, to click on the Kickstarter link below uh, in the video description and just click on this really informative um, video that you've produced. Um, and it really is showing you how you get away from the bulky approach, which I've seen many moms and dads over the years filling up, as it showed you in the video, their, their, their car. But, you know, they're, they're just planning to go to the local shop to get some milk, whereas you guys have gone, that's the problem. That's the pain. And we're really going to get a, a smile much simpler product and a much simpler way of doing things. And as the video shows here, it is the idea of a compact um, baby carrier, which then can expand out. Exactly, exactly. Like the whole, the, the major feature of this carrier is that how compact it is. So we actually, this is our fourth Kickstarter campaign. Our business was launched on Kickstarter in 2014. Um, if you see in back, this is the, first carry that we launched on Kickstarter. And um, it, it all started because I, I was a first time mom. I pinched a nerve in my back and I was desperate to find some support. So I went out and bought all the different types of carriers in the market. And to, to my surprise, none of them helped me with my pain, in my, my back pain. And I was just like, how is it possible a carrier um, that is used by a mom is not helping the mom? You know, and that's kind of what inspired us to create a hip seat baby carrier. The main difference of our carriers, because there's a hip seat, and that really helps absorb the weight of the baby, and therefore it helps relieve the stress on my back. And it's, it's sort of the DNA of our carrier, our brand. And with the compact, um, just show you guys this hip seat. So I didn't want to give up the idea of the hip seat. You know, so my biggest challenge was how can I turn our hip seat into something compact? And it took two years of development and we found this um, inflatable way where you can pump, you know, with your hand, without your mouth, because we don't want everybody blowing into the same valve. You know, now germs are very, we're all very sensitive about germs. Mm -hmm. So it's a hand pump and you're able to put this inside the carrier. So. Um, not only is it compact, we didn't sacrifice on the comfort for the parents. Okay, so there's two elements there. Is that one of the key features? Is it's there's a hip there, there's right. So, uh, so you got I'm a guy, right? So I just uh, right. So right, okay, my hips are not the are not like female hips. So let's just uh, look, focus on the hip, which is one of the key feature, and just how that pump actually works, or maybe you could yeah. sort of show us the product and how it, how it unfolds yeah. and works together. Sure, we have a release valve and let and just a little bit closer. So if you press this release, you you can deflate the the, 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 the seat. seat in a few seconds. And then if you wanna uh, inflate it again, you just pump it. 
with the I don't know, 20 pumps is already yeah. perfect to be used. And, and, voila. and this, this is the carrier. And we can put the, the seat inside the carrier. Yeah. Just show everybody. Um, so you just put the seat in. Like that. And you close it. And you close it. So now you have like a proper carrier with the hit seat there. And um, the baby sits on this. And um, because there is a seat, the seat uh, pushes the baby's um, weight towards you. So you're not leaning forward. A lot of times you, you have back pain when you carry a baby because all the weight is making you lean forward. So you have all the stress here. So the seat pushes the baby up towards you. And you can stand straight and it releases a lot of stress on the back. So that, that is fantastic. So just while you're standing there is so it really is a simple process. I mean, I like ABC stuff and this is really ABC stuff. Okay. Cause I'm a middle-aged guy who likes ABC stuff. Okay. So it's like you, what you did is you just hooked it over your head and yeah. then you just clicked it on the back and then yeah. you put, wow. You see, look at that. Super easy. I also have our little, model here you can show everybody wow okay her name is mavis hi mavis, hi, mavis. <laughs> so i didn't know she had a name so <laughs> he changes names every day uh, yeah, like, yeah. depending on my mood <laughs> <laughs> so like this and then so you put the baby in and then you um put the very at uh, the back there's a back clip here wow and then, so it really is ABC. A lot of carriers require a lot of adjustment. And it was very hard for me to learn that adjustment when I was like pregnant. And so I imagine my husband would not want to like take the time to learn. So it was really important for me to create something that was very, very easy to use for both mom and dad. There. I, and and the great thing is like anything with air will lose air, you know, over time. So. You just go, you know, depending on the weight of your baby and how far you've been carrying them, you can easily pump the, the seat while you have the baby on. That's phenomenal. So it really is like, it really is flip it over your head, put your waist yeah. strap on and then put those, let's call them the shoulder straps, click that on. And then yeah. you can just say if baby's in the inner cot or something, you just lift baby up and put, uh, was it Mavis? Was it? Okay, Mavis. <laughs> put, Mavis. put Mavis in position and then you're good to go. And then you're, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Super, that's super it. simple. I'll show you how to, uh, so this is how you take it off. So you want to unclip, give the baby to your partner and- Oh, um, Alex. <laughs> yeah, very important role. Exactly. Take out the hip seat. There is a ball you open and then you push. It just goes down like that. And um, this is how you can pack it up. So the, the pocket of the hip seat actually doubles as the storage bag. So you just turn it around and um, you just stuff this back in like that. There you go. And it becomes literally super, super small. And then we put the hip seat, inflatable seat in along with it. And you close it. And then you close it. And that's it. Yeah. That's so superb. It's really straightforward. I think when we were designing, we really made it complicated. And I kind of like midway scratched everything. And I said, look, for a design to be like, like, functional like it needs to be really simple sometimes like the most simple design is the hardest thing to do it's really easy to make something complicated and like some sound, sound wow you know but then like i i'm a mom and i design for moms they just don't have time to like adjust this take apart this i just want to be so simple and literally it takes a few seconds to put on and put away you see, that's fantastic because obviously um, you guys are the target audience and, it, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about your, this is your fourth campaign. We'll just talk about that as we look at your backstory later. Um, that is phenomenal. I just love a way it just it 
folds all its way down into one packet and everything is there. So the busy mom, busy dad just has to lift this up. Okay, we're just and just do the ABC and then you're good to go in, in like minutes. Like that's phenomenal. So we're just, uh, look, I just want to bring you all back onto the Kickstarter page now. And um, if I just go out of the full screen here a second, um, you've really covered about how it works. Um, and, it, you know, again, folks, the Kickstarter link will be in the video description below and you can really scroll down and, and see what Cecilia and Alex were just talking about and demonstrating there. Um, so there's the how it works again, just that idea of the pump action. Um, there's the key product features. Um, is there any of the key product features you'd like to talk about there, Cecilia? Sorry, okay. That's, that's another order coming in. Yeah, another order. Ding, ding. <laughs> give, me a, give me a hundred. That's a, yeah, that's somebody ordering a bulk, bulk order. <laughs> Is there any, I think you really covered the product features there uh, in your demonstration, Celia. Was there yeah. any other ways that you'd, like, you'd like to? So, yeah, I wanted to add, we also added two side pockets um, so that parents can have like, you know, baby always needs something, maybe a diaper, a wipe. So you can kind of just leave the house with just the carrier and um, and the pump, exactly. So there's the pump built in to the seat. And, you know, our first prototype, we were almost gonna go into production. And my dad was like, I don't know if you, if you want people to blow in the same valve, you know? And I'm like, you're right. Like this is before COVID. And already back then it was like, you know, not hygienic. Cause like usually the mom and the dad, the grandparents and the nanny, there's tons of people using, sharing one carrier. So we went back to the drawing board and was like, okay, let's push it to another level. We really need to make this hygienic where it's pumped by your hand and not your mouth. So um, the biggest innovation is the pump. Fantastic. And, and then look, these are the three, there's actually three, you were demonstrating one of the carrier positions. There's, there's three in total. Yes. So facing in is the one that I was demonstrating with Mavis and um, forward facing is basically turning the baby around and there's no adjustment. Normally other carriers, when you want to forward face a baby, you have to take out the baby, take the carrier off you. You have to adjust certain um, padding or adjustments so that the baby's well supported forward facing because of the seat. The baby's always supported by the seat in every position. So there's no adjustment needed. So forward facing is um, great for baby when they're around six months old. They, that's when they start seeing farther and they understand that perception. And then when they're bigger around eight months old, you, you can put them on your back, which is the best for anybody who has back ache like me. Um, Cause then, you know, having something on your back definitely is better, uh, less stress on your lumbar support. And then another feature is that you can use it for newborn babies as well. I think you have an insert that goes with that. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I think yeah, it was important for us to offer also a newborn solution because moms are, you know, they need help right away carrying their baby. Um, babies want to be held all day long. So, um, yeah, we have an insert that you can buy and you can use it from newborn till four months old. And when the baby has strong head and neck support, you don't need to use the insert anymore. Fantastic, guys. And then what, what is, a, speaking as a can as a guy, what is an M position? What does that mean? I know, I know. Okay. This is, when I was a new mom, I was also very confused. Like, why is it important to have M position? So the M position um, is basically when you have a baby, when you have a baby, when they're born, you know, their hips are still developing. They're like soft cartilage. Takes them a few months for it to become like um, real bone. So the hip socket is like this um, and their thigh bone goes inside. So we wanted to develop a very tight, tight fit. And um, it's important that the carrier, the baby's hips are in M position because you're lifting this up instead of um, dangling. I guess dangling. Because if the weight of the baby can kind of pull this thigh bone out of the hip socket, and then it's gonna cause it to form in the wrong, like with a bad loose fit. And then you're gonna have like hip problems later on. Um, it's a silent condition because it's a soft cartilage, but babies feel no pain if their hips are like dislocated. Um, so we just wanna make sure that babies' hips are well supported. 
And that's okay. what the M position means. And, and like that one sense, you know, even though you're emphasizing this M position, you've obviously done an awful lot of medical research into designing the, this product. Would that be correct? Yes, yes. So um, we, we definitely, because I was using it with our kids. Um, we, we're in Switzerland. Every baby requires a mandatory ultrasound at two months with an infant hip specialist. So I was able to like interview and ask them a ton of questions on what is infant hip dysplasia? Um, what do we have to look out for? And um, so he really educated me on like what to, how to design the carrier. And our carrier was, is also um, approved by the International Hip Dysplasia Institute. Um, so they, they, their, their primary the objective is to spread awareness of hip dysplasia. And they kind of go on tour in the US talking about hip dysplasia. And when I sent them one of our carriers to get approved, they were really impressed. Like, wow, this is fantastic. Can I get another one? I want to take it on tour with me to really show people like this is how the baby's hips should be supported really like at hip level um, and not dangling. So, wow. Well, that's yeah. great validation for your products yeah, right there, yeah. folks. Well done. I mean, it's, the other uh, validation, which is actually on, on the Kickstarter page, um, is uh, what moms are saying. So it's like uh, on the Kickstarter page, folks, if you just click through in the video description below, you'll see it all. There's great testimonials from, um, from busy moms and dads who are using your product. Yeah, you know, we have, a, we have a huge community of moms here. So we made some samples and when we let them test and during COVID, you know, kind of delayed the whole process. So we actually ex had like way more testing period um, this time with this product because um, we weren't able to launch as soon as possible. Um, so uh, yeah, so we collected all these testimonials from our friends who actually use the product with their baby. And, and we'll talk about your community, which I'm sure you've fostered because this is your fourth Kickstarter campaign in, in a moment. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a sort of a feedback loop, which you're probably, get, you're probably getting a lot of ideas from, from that community. Um, but I just want to just bring it down in the Kickstarter page that you're obviously everyone's very focused on the, on the sustainability. And obviously this is babies, this is the future. So you're really emphasizing here, you've got um, 28, plastic bottles um it's equivalent to in terms of the sustainable materials that you're using on your products so well done there guys um i just want to bring you on now just down to the rewards um there's uh, just on, on the kickstarter page maybe i'll just share the screen briefly here um so we can see the the rewards and you can maybe just talk us through the rewards please yeah so we 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 kept it really simple on in this came, campaign um we basically are it's the, always the same product and always one. You can always add more if you want. Um, and we just offered limited time discounts. The sooner you buy, the better the discount is. And then there's an add-on, which is the infant insert. Very good. And so say the, um, I think you're in, you're into your first few days of their campaign and it's going really well for you. So yeah. the, so is it, say the early bird deal, would that be the one people should be looking at the, at the time of recording? It's 119 US dollars. Yes. yes. So the launch day ended literally a few hours ago. So early bay, early bird deal is what everyone should be um, jumping on board for Cause we have limited it to 300 and once we get 300, then we move up to the Kickstarter deal. Well, then there you go, folks. Get on the phone quick because <laughs> uh, their, their phones are hopping there to get to get, get the orders in. So you got to get in and get that early bird day. OK, <laughs> um, I just want to bring it down just to the timeline. You were saying like interesting things, and this will we'll bring that on into your backstory and how you developed the product. Um, but in, in the timeline, you know, uh, you're, you're going really well with it. Uh, you, you know, you're doing the Kickstarter now in December, and then you're going to start production in January 2022. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think it's it's really important to like to give confidence to the backers because I've pledged stuff uh, like a year ago that I still have not received. So um, we we made sure, and you know, this is our fourth campaign. So what is the advantage is we have our suppliers in place. We know we know about logistics and packaging, manuals, all that stuff is being designed and ready. So as soon as the campaign finished, we just need the campaign to understand um, how many people are ordering. So we understand what how many orders to place. 
And um, um, exactly. So our first campaign, we were clueless and we had no clue about shipping to 33 countries. It was a huge learning curve. Mm. And um, we learned the hard way. Let's learned say. the hard way because we didn't <laughs> charge anything for shipping, basically. <laughs> Some countries would be like $55 just in shipping. Mm. Um, so this time we, we, you know, we have established like good rates with couriers. Uh, over the world. We have warehouses in the US, um, London, Asia, and in Europe, in we, Europe. Have, we have distribution teams so that it works properly. So we, we are on it and we know that uh, we, we are confident that we will deliver in time as we have promised. Yeah, so definitely people are going to get their carriers. Well, I love it whenever Alex says we are on it. So that after, you know, that just sounds, that's the real ring there of, yep, it's gonna, it's happening and, we're, and you're on it. So that's, that's a lovely way to finish that, that uh, segment there. Um, so listen, guys, I really, I love this bit because this is the backstory, but is who you guys are. Okay. Um, so, okay. Like where do we want to start? Um, because this is your fourth campaign, um, which is phenomenal. And just the way you're describing how you're on it really shows that you are on it and you've done this before. And you've been very open to say the first campaign was, Oh, we didn't know, you know, uh, anything about shipping costs or anything like, but maybe, I mean, is, is all your fourth campaigns, is it all to do with baby products? It, all these four campaigns as, as the, it, could, let's just look at that journey to start with. Yes, yeah, so all the campaigns are baby carriers and it's sort of like an evolution of our hip seat design. And this one is the one that is really innovative that is different from the other three. The other three has been like second, first generations of the same um, hip seat carrier. And this one is really the one that's very innovative. And the reason we keep going back to Kickstarter first because you know, it's the platform that launched us and it's, it's such a great platform because we're able to be in direct contact with our backers and we have, we get a lot of feedback from them and usually they become, you know, our, our fans on Instagram and, and I eventually build a personal relationship with them. And even though we've been in business for five years, we are still a very lean team. You know, we, it's still a family business. We are a team of like nine, nine but all over the world. And um, so we, we really do count on the, the, the funding that comes from Kickstarter to help us fund the first um, production. It's very important for us. Um, so exactly. So we really wanted to turn Mia Newly into a baby carrier name before we expand and diversify into other categories. Oh, fantastic. So, I mean, I mean, as it says on the Kickstarter page, it's, you know, there's a long list of what you guys do. And uh, I've been a solo entrepreneur most of my life, so I know how many balls you guys are, are, are juggling. So it's everything from um, product innovation, production, marketing, and social media. That's Cecilia's role. Alexandro has the joys of business development, finances, and sales. Um, so well done, guys. I mean, uh, the Mia Millie is certainly a brand that's grown. If you've done four successful uh, crowdfunding campaigns, you've really honed down on the sort of baby uh, carrier niche. Um, and, and is that going to be, you know, you're going to finish this campaign and then you've already sort of alluded to other areas that you might want to um, expand into, probably maybe baby, fo baby focused as well. Yes, let's say that uh, uh, as uh, Cecilia mentioned, we are very uh, focused on the baby carrier at the moment, and uh, we are expanding into the accessories for the baby carrier. There are a few products that are in development that uh, uh, we cannot really... Uh, that's okay. Yeah, just come whenever you're launching and pre launching yeah, Kickstarter, yeah, yeah. please come we'll, back because you can we'll, tell me about we'll, it then. <laughs> we will be pleasure. We will be back uh, uh, with you and uh, we will uh, talk about it. But we are expanding in, in uh, uh, accessories that goes with the uh, baby carrier. And uh, we think uh, we our main goal is always to innovate and bring more uh, products that are more compact and easy to use to make uh, all of our lives easier, I would say. Oh, fantastic. Well, the, the other area that people are really fascinated is because I get a lot of people contacting me basically on a regular basis now regarding how do you do the crowdfunding campaign? And one key area is the pre-launch and the key area and that is is building that momentum with, with, the, with the crowd. Um, can you really 
talk about how you've developed that over the that, over your four campaigns and also probably how it's it's formed as like a feedback loop for your own product development um so yeah super super important to do pre-campaign um i think what what i've learned over the four campaign is the best the best backers are backers you know because at the beginning we were really targeting parents and then you know there was a lot of explanation required because not everybody understands you know making a pledge and that it's not coming to you like in like in the next week um so we've shifted our in this campaign shifted our like attention in targeting and um backers who are interested in crowdfunding because they understand the system they're eager to help creators um, and then uh, using some influencers on Instagram to help you spread the word. Um, it's very funny because the first, first um, campaign we used like blogs. And then I saw the social media trend changing. The second campaign we used only YouTube. And then last campaign we only use Instagram. Um, so it's, you have to see what is like popular at the moment of your campaign and like leverage that. Um, um, is there any particular media, social media platform you're using at the moment? Right now, um, we use Facebook. Facebook is still very, very good for ads and um, Instagram. Yeah. Instagram is a really big one for us. We have like a following of 108,000. So um, yeah, lots of lots of moms are on Instagram. Oh, so and we'll have to get Alex on TikTok uh, dancing with uh, <laughs> dancing with me of us maybe for for yeah, the maybe, next yeah. one. <laughs> maybe there will be not a lot of followers uh, if I go on TikTok. Actually, there will be actually. <laughs> and, you know, we're, we're too old for TikTok. I've been trying, and I just I I don't get how to make a TikTok. Mm, mm, mm. I really want to because that that really to be honest, that really is the trend right now. It's just I don't know. I'm like past that age where I. It's a and, steep learning curve. I don't know. And just out of interest, uh, do you get much interest out of coming through LinkedIn at all? No, we don't get. No, we honestly we don't use uh, uh, for marketing purpose uh, LinkedIn, so we don't know exactly. Uh, if, maybe, maybe it could be a good idea to 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 start looking into it. We use it more for uh, business um, connection. connection and. Uh, have you has have other um campaigns like focus on LinkedIn? yes some, some some have particularly um you know b2b development just and again it's from what i can see and what i understand just engaging with the different crowdfunding campaigns is um it's becoming it's reinventing itself in the social media platform as well you know so there's the there's one particular person who's got a lot of sales um through through linkedin now I'm saying that their product was more um, professional pens, handcrafted pens. Um, but you know, I don't know whether. But it, it's an interest, something that you should maybe you should maybe look at. Um, so really, I just want to finish off the interview today. I just want to bring up everybody back to looking at the Kickstarter page where it's where it's all happening at the day. Um, you've got 28 days to go, and I'd like There's to thank. One. So, so, sorry. 27, and now it's 28. Oh. We've got oh. One we just got one during this call. Oh, well, there you go. That's the. <laughs> right, so you're getting phone calls, plus you're getting people pledging as we do the interview. That is absolutely fantastic. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. So I really like to thank uh, Cecilia and Alex uh, from Mia Millie, um, who are live on Kickstarter with the absolutely wonderful Hipster Air inflatable travel bar uh, baby carrier. And as this interview has shown, um, these guys are on it. And they're they're cracked through. This is their fourth Kickstarter campaign, folks. So please do not hesitate to pledge for this wonderful hipster air inflatable tra travel baby carrier. And all the links will be in the video description below. Thank you so much, guys. It's been a wonderful interview. And and next time I'm in Switzerland, I must call in for a good cup of coffee or something stronger. Thank you, Alan. Please okay. come with us. Yeah, we'll Thank take you, you out to fondue.